This may look like a climbing gym, but we're actually at the school gym at Derry Field School here in Manchester, and uh, this is class for these kids. Can you imagine that this is your class in high school? This is neat. Uh, it's required for all eighth graders here at Derry Field to take the wall climbing class. Great way to learn, of course, confidence, but also how to work as a team. As and well. get rid of that fear of heights. Yeah. I'm, I'm, it that. seems to be strengthening my fear right now as I look at these kids up there. Uh, first up, the atmosphere is tense, like right now. Teams armed and ready to battle it out in the woods. Their ammunition is paint. OSG Paintball has the largest paintball field in New England. It's filled with all sorts of obstacles. And get this, they even use a helicopter really? when they hold special events. Yeah. A helicopter for mm -hmm. paintball. Uh, Audrey Cox got suited up and headed into the woods. Watch out, Audrey. Left side of Western, shields hot! It's a surefire way to get your heart racing and your adrenaline pumping. OSG Paintball, that's Outdoor Strategic Games, knows how to do it. Ten fields on 35 acres. You feel like you're stepping into another world. Heavily wooded, the field is a maze of buildings and obstacles. Whether you are aiming for your opponent or taking shelter, we started OSG you know, over 23 years ago now, and uh, you know we've developed one of the staple destination paintball parks for New England and hopefully nationally. Owner Dave Preston started the business in 1993 when he was just in high school. In 1993, I was a very young man, and I'd just gotten my uh, learner's permit, and I needed uh, money for a car. So an opportunity fell into my lap of 20 paintball guns and uh, some rural lands, and uh, that is how OSG basically took off. On the fields, you'll find a castle, a helicopter, as well as a pirate ship and old cars. But this is when OSG really gets creative. OSG uses a real helicopter when it holds special events several times a year. Two lucky people get chosen to go up in the chopper and take aim at their opponents from the sky. We are the first in New England to do it. and. Uh, it takes a lot of negotiation and uh, we have a great helicopter company, JBI, out of Pembroke, New Hampshire. Uh, they're the only people that are skilled enough and willing to do it. Going up in a helicopter can be a once in a lifetime experience. Going up in a helicopter and playing paintball out of it, that is truly a once in a lifetime experience. We do everything from uh, video games like Halo and Call of Duty to um, Goonies, R Revenge of the Nerds, Star Wars. On this weekend, OSG is holding an event called End of Days. Two teams battling it out for two days. People from around the Northeast attend the event, camping in an open field near the obstacles. We found it is bonding at its most basic. There are fathers and sons, like 13-year-old Robert Kennedy of Merrimack, who comes with his dad for these special events. This is like survival of like an apocalypse or something, like you got to find resources, water and stuff. Women like it too, like Kathleen McGinnis. I work in a law firm, and it is completely the opposite of that. Um, instead of fighting people by like sitting at a desk and talking at them aggressively, you fight people by like, running and hiding and ducking and I don't know. It, it's not real, but it feels real. You can rent the equipment and paint here, but diehard paintballers have their own weapons, not to mention team uniforms, from camouflage to colorful. From outside the field, it sounded like a war zone, but I had to experience it for myself. First, you get suited up, because I've heard the sting of the paintball can be a bit painful. 
Your first time playing paintball can be a nervous experience. And the best thing about paintball is, is I may not know you, Audrey, but when someone is shooting at us, we are best friends. And that is the beauty of paintball. It brings people together. And it brings groups that know each other together, and it brings complete strangers. I get a quick lesson on what to do when I get shot. Stay behind your bunker. Don't just like say hit and just step out. Okay. You're get shot. Okay. Wave your gun. I'm hit. I'm hit. Yell it as loud as you possibly can. Can you pull this trigger right here? Shoot. Just like so. Safety is right here. It's Team Red versus Yellow. I get placed on the Yellow team and get paired up with Jay McDonald, a longtime paintball enthusiast. I'm gonna take a couple shots just to make sure. Yep, you're good. Now, we're in search of our opponents. Anyone wearing a red armband is going down. I take cover behind this huge tank and try to figure out where the so-called bad guys are shooting from. At one point, I try to lure the enemy out with the promise of getting on Chronicle. Want to be on TV? Shouts come from all directions. The ping of the paintball slicing through the air. No sly tactical measures here. I just want to avoid getting hit. Still good. No luck. Still clear, walking out. Head on, head on. Still clear. Come on, come on. I'm a dead clear. Yep. I didn't survive. But boy, that was a lot of fun. I can see why people get so addicted to this. It's a lot of fun. I don't think I got anybody, but I got pelted. It stings just a little bit. My teammate Jay says OSG is his favorite place to play. The camaraderie here is huge, huge. This staff especially, huge, huge. They've got their heart in the game. Um, money goes back into the field. Uh, you'll see new things being built here all the time. The man responsible for scattering the terrain with everything from a fortress to a lighthouse is field manager Kevin Oakes. I think in New England we were the first in the whole business to, to make theme fields, sort of like a castle or a western town or an urban town. And um, from there we just take that idea and, and expand upon it. 734, come on down! Expect more theatrics from Dave Preston. His newest theme will take players out of this world. We're building a Star Wars field next year. Uh, that's going to be a pretty cool new themed field as well. They're hot, one strong. New scenarios and a more elaborate playing field in the works at OSG. Oh, and to be on the safe side, when you come, add some extra padding before you hit the field.